y'all, y'all like that football fan too. Okay, anyway, um, and he's a he's a, a former army sergeant, and he's new to comedy. Will you please put your hands together for Patrick Gray? How are you guys doing tonight? Give it up, give it up to all the comics you've seen so far. So I'm getting older, and I like it. Every day is like a new adventure. I get to wake up and experience a new pain that was never there before. I'm not sure how it got there. Can't remember doing anything that would have caused it. And again, the pain at my age is weird because I have to resign myself to the fact that it's probably going to be there the rest of my life. <laughs> and every night I get to play a brand new round of the guessing game. Is this indigestion or is it a heart attack? <laughs> but seriously, I love getting older because there's a lot of things I don't have to worry about anymore. I don't have to worry about doing homework because I'm not in school anymore. I don't have to worry about relationships or dating or Tinder because I'm married. I don't have to worry about how I'm going to succeed in life because I'm already a total failure. I used to work in customer service and I failed at that. I'd be standing around, somebody would come up and be like, Sir, can you help me? Oh. What could you possibly want from me right now? And that's why I got so many complaints when I was a paramedic. <laughs> it was also really hard because I was a lazy paramedic. Kind of like being a salesman. You'd show up on scene, walk in the house, tell Mr. Jones who's having a heart attack, listen buddy, I'm not carrying into that truck. I'll be in the passenger seat when you're ready to go. You just walk your ass out there, we'll be good to go. <laughs> Got a lot of complaints about that too. When I grew up in the 80s, um, there was a lot of controversy when I was a kid about toys, especially Barbie. Everybody was always talking about, you know, when I was little. Ah, it's going to make girls feel insecure. No woman could ever look like that. And as a little kid, I didn't understand because I looked exactly like my favorite toy. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> and I'm, not, I'm not sure if you can tell by my physique. But I was a fat kid. <laughs> and being fat in the 80s was different. You brought shame to your family. <laughs> you were treated like an unwed mother in the 1800s. <laughs> I remember going shopping for school clothes. My mom would be like, put this on. I'm like, mom, why are you putting a blanket on my head? <laughs> We'd get to the store, the salesman would look me up and down, see a blanket. Like, let me guess, husky sizes. <laughs> they dragged me to the back where the lighting was bad, so they didn't have to look at me. There wasn't a belt loop in sight. All the waistbands were elastic. <laughs> the other thing with being a fat kid in the 80s was you got picked on mercilessly. You got into a lot of fights. So my parents decided they were going to enroll me in the great art of karate, which in the 80s was a lot different than things are now. Now you have MMA and jiu-jitsu. In the 80s you had, if someone grabbed your wrist like this, and then a series of things you were supposed to do. And after a few months of this, I was like, all right, I got them. Got out to the schoolyard. I was like, here they come. I even tried to bait him a little bit. I was like, <laughs> I got punched right in the face. <laughs> it's 
started crying, went home. My dad was like, you brought shame to the family. <laughs> I also went to Catholic school, which was really hard because we were just threatened with eternal damnation constantly. Well, you didn't do your homework. That's a sin. Lie to your parents about doing your homework. That's a sin. You don't fit in regular pants, fatty. That's a sin. <laughs> but being a young Catholic boy was really weird. So I was on my knees all the time. Praying. <laughs> Whatever you were thinking, that's a sin. <laughs> all right, that's my time.